Good morning everybody. It's a beautiful sunny day. We have sunshine there and we are on a little walk with Sherry. Come on. No, other way. Let's go other way. Oh, well done. Oh, we have delivery. Oh, this is very good surprise. Uh, I'm sure this is something for Sergi. Some sort of tools. I'm pretty, pretty sure. So that can wait here. And we are always walking past our little garden. Today I'm not playing in a little garden. <laughs> I have other things to do. But I can have a little look from here. And everything looks so, so happy and healthy and growing. The Iberis started to bloom. Oh, it's beautiful. And we have some self-seeded, are these pansies, violets, I'm always confused with the name, so pretty, I think these are from last year, they're so pretty. And uh, our neighbors created this beautiful patch of tulips, very, very pretty. And here around the corner, where the door to our underground floor is, this is our third entrance, we have wisteria. And look at the size of these flower buds. Oh, <laughs> I need to buy a couple of more for other spots. Um, but hopefully this one, this year, will cover here. And I'm really hoping it can reach up and above the window. This is my hope. I can see little buds all over the cane there. And we are on a tiny little walk, just a round walk through the church. And I'm always checking on the plants there and they're looking being happy as well. And uh, then I have a couple of things to do in the garden actually, as I was having my morning coffee. Um, next to the pond, I noticed a couple of things that I have to do right now. Let's have a look at what's happening by the church. I have a crazy idea, actually. Um, <laughs> and I must admit, I really want to do that. I've seen it in other villages, um, this square, which is beautiful, made out of stone, little river stones. Um, it looks so beautiful when it's clean and when there is no any grass on it, when it's just completely sparkling clean. Um, I've seen it in another village and it's just amazing. And maybe a couple more flower pots. One here definitely in the corner with the rose or another little oleander. And also we have this uh, we have this fountain which is uh, broken. It is broken here. The water is supposed to stay here full so like birds can drink and now people put this, I suppose, for, for dogs to drink. Um, so this thing has to be welded back, little pipe. So maybe Sergio will do that. He's very keen on this project. And um, yeah, the port's looking lovely. I planted Nepita, underplanted Oleander with Nepita from my garden, and it is looking wonderful. Other two roses in the churchyard are doing also really nice. Uh, but here we still have this pile of dirt, which I think actually I could convert in a little flower bed, just to put a couple of one row of stones and flat the soil and plant some hydrangeas maybe. But the rose is doing well. I need to weld a proper support for it now. It's just with bamboo cane, but we have some flower buds there. Look at that. I can't wait to see it all in bloom.
it here is I think I've never shown it the view on our house from tiny little street that is below and here we are Ta -da! <laughs> And actually, I pretty often I just stay here and look, just stare at our garden house to get. Uh, oh, look at that! This is very naughty, Sherry. Oh, she probably found a fox poop or something like that. Look at you, Sherry. What is that, Sherry? What is that? What is that behavior? Look at me. Oh, oh la la! This is very fresh poop that now is on her for. Cupazza. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, bath time it is for Sherry right now. <laughs> and I'm just staring at the house and uh, thinking of different options for the window boxes, for the garden, for maybe a little arched tunnel there. Just, I like to stay here and look at the house. And here is another view onto the church. While Sherry is waiting for her bath time, I hope she's being a good girl and not going and jumping onto the bed with the poo in her <laughs> fur. Um, I wanted to show you uh, the other magnolia that we have at the bottom part of the garden. And she is in full bloom now. Now, actually, before, before I can wash Sherry, I have to do something I've never done before. <laughs> I was lucky enough Sergi used to do that for me, but he, yeah, but I think today I have to do it myself uh, because it is really my fault. In the laundry room, this sink um, is blocked because I was doing my flowers here and it is full of sand and flowers and whatever i don't know so i think it's it's pretty straightforward i have to unscrew the thing and clean the pipe oh wish me luck luckily this is not a um, toilet bathroom it's just my flowers so i'm happy to do that myself
it was not working as I expected it to work. And it looks like I need to uh, GTR and screw one thing. It's just, it's too tight. Ugh. Now, while Sergi is helping me with the tray, uh, I have a little project. This is something I was thinking about for a long time. And this is this corner on the right, where I used to be this black cashpaw, which is beautiful and actually a perfect shape for this corner, but it's wooden. So we will keep it indoors since now. We have to restore it, paint, and we'll keep it indoors. And there, for that corner, I have beautiful terracotta port, which the design matches a little bit the other ports here and there. And the question was, do I keep the port on the floor or on this um, border? And I think border it is, just so we have more room there. And um, yeah, I think it looks nice. What do you think? I think it's it's fine. And I want to have there uh, jasmine and a rose. And I have this rose, beautiful, beautiful one, which actually I wanted to give to my neighbor so she would plant it on the border with our house so we can see it and um, it's beautiful uh, Sally Holmes very very pretty rose and um, I think I'm just a little bit worried it's it 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 won't be enough room for two plants in one pot but definitely I will have to keep feeding it and adding new nice soil i think this is it a rose and a jasmine in this board on the border and the drain project <laughs> is more complicated than we thought oh yeah yeah okay Well, definitely that looks better. So I said you know, pissed off because he had to disassemble a drain that is probably 100 years um, ago was fixed. Not and years, but definitely <laughs> from past century. Yeah, from 60s. <laughs> and uh, the problem, well, there was no problem. Actually, this the thing was just um, opening so you could just do like that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm very very sorry. <laughs> Look at this face. See now we know. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That was my fault twice. But let's concentrate on the porting project. And uh, it's nice, but uh, we need some color, some seasonal color there and um, i would love to have something hanging from there like nebita i have let's see if we can find a little bit of nebita to steal from from somewhere in the garden and it spreads really quickly so if i steal a little clump there is no problem at all so let's have a look oh we already have petunias in the port they were on sale for one euro each and i got few so we have now summer in our garden i think petunias um, in the ports are sign of summer all right nepita it is May oh actually i could do a couple of daisies maybe huh let me let me think maybe i can steal these daisies and plant there I think I easily could do that. 
but first Nepita. There I have a little clump, which was a um, mother clump that I wanted to remove. Uh, what I learned on my mistake, <laughs> I planted Nepita too far into the border and it covers, when it goes, so it covers, it starts there and then it covers here, all this area and down here. So all the little plants like this um, little, oh, what is this, Agapanthus uh, was suffering because Nepita just took over this area. The little Salvia was suffering. Um, so I took Nepita and I moved uh, onto the edge of the border so it will go there and other plants will be happy but <laughs> I didn't remove it all so we have a little bit left which can go into the pot here as well see I planted it on right on the edge so it will go like that and down with a couple of tiny little ones but they will perfectly grow into a nice and big clump of beautiful flowers also to add some color right now straight away into the uh, to the pot I will steal a couple of forget-me-nots that I have here so many of them they self-seeded and I think from this little family I can take a couple of plants Look at that, these all from seeds from last year, they're completely self-seeded here, so pretty. Okay, Sherry is watching me stealing the plants. <laughs> and look at these petunias on the windowsill. Oh. Look at this very beautiful and very healthy forget-me-nots, completely free. From, from my little garden. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, she doesn't know yet. This is her first time showering, having a bath in the new forestry room. Come on, so, so she doesn't know. Come on, Shelly, come on, good girl. Usually she's not that happy going into the bathroom. Kubatsa? Uh oh. Kubatsa, you need to have a little bath. Don't make this face. No, 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 no. Now she's pretending she's really sleepy. Look at Kupatsa. Kupatsa. Oh no. You know, the smell <laughs> is horrible. And this is only your fault. You shouldn't have rolled into um, the poop. Yeah. Okay, come on. I think it's a huge success. <laughs> yes, what do you think? Did you like your new bath? Oh, it is so comfortable, isn't it, Cherry? Oh, it is so nice. Look at that. <laughs> this very unhappy look. Good 
Kel. Okay. And we are not doing um, hair dryer today. I think it's warm enough. <laughs> so we decided to sit here on the sunshine and Sherry will dry just naturally on the sunshine. Now a little project for today is to replant uh, my water lilies and uh, because they are now in not in the right pot I need something really sh short and flat so I have this one terracotta pot I think that could work actually it could definitely work let me show you what is the problem with water lilies. The pot they are now in is too tall. So they are, the leaves are basically on the surface of water. It, well, actually there, the clump is sticking out of the water. So they don't grow. I see they're like teeny tiny. They need to be really at the bottom of the pond and they need some space, at least five or 10 centimeters uh, of water covering, covering the clump of roots. So it's not my favorite thing to do, I must admit, just um, working in the pond, but I really want my lilies to be happy and uh, have many blooms. we go all things I think they will be so much happier in this flat pot at in at the bottom of the pond and it will be so much prettier than the plastic one
well actually it works really well now the water lilies are at the bottom of the pond a nice shallow port and it looks so much better now I have another little one which sunk and it was at the bottom of the pond on the side and look it's it's still it's growing it started to shoot like that poor thing look at that so I'll report this one. Oh wow! <gasps> are these frogs or or maybe oh what are these things? <gasps> I'm so happy to see the wildlife in my pond, but I don't know what these are. Oh I'm so sorry I disturbed them. Oh la la. I think I will I will pull the pot back. The plastic one. Oh no, poor things. Poor little things. Now the pond is sorted out, everything is good in the garden and I think this is it for today. I had a really, really hard day yesterday with Charlotte travelling all day long and uh, I think this is it for today and I wish you a very good day and we see you tomorrow. Bye!